Welcome. We're continuing our series of walking through the US Single Open Cloud environment. In this case, we're going to talk about storage. Storage obviously is essential for all the compute instances that you create because you have to be able to write your data somewhere. So one of the things that's available under the storage subcategorization here are volumes. So these are the different volumes that are associated with instances. You can see they have various names automatically named based off of the type of device that's being used, where you're at in sequences. So it gives it a unique name so that you can identify it with that particular instance. You can take a look at the fact that it's in a ready state, what the size of the volume is, what type of volume, whether it's a root disk, meaning the operating system is installed to it, or a data disk, meaning it's just an extra disk that's added to the virtual machine slash compute instance that is going to house different batches of data. You can see what instance name it's associated with, who created it, and in what zone that's created. Now, you can go through and create your own volume, as I've done down here with this test volume. Uh, this was not created with the provisioning of the compute instance. It was added after the fact. You can upload a volume from local. So if you've downloaded a volume, moved it somewhere for DR purposes, taken a snapshot, something like that, you can upload that from a local source or you can upload it from a URL. So let's go through and create another volume. So we have to give it a name. It has to be unique. So in this case, test volume two, we're going to go to the existing zone that I've copied everything to, which is Labo one. We're going to only do the one offering that's available, which is custom disk. Now, everything's gonna be listed in gigabyte. So let me add a 20 gigabyte disk by default, and I don't need to specify GIB or GB or anything like that. If I just specify a number, it's gonna automatically create that arbitrary volume size. So you can see that I've created volume two. Volume two has been associated into the system as a volume that is utilizing and using 20, 20 gig of storage. Now, if I click on the volume, I have the option now to delete the volume. Keep in mind that this is a destructive process. This will not delete any snapshots of the volume that you've created, but it will delete the data disk. So let me do that. So you can see the volume has been deleted. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the concept of volume snapshots. If you've ever worked with Amazon Web Services, you've kind of seen the idea with Elastic Block Storage, or EBS. The same sort of principles seem to apply here in the open cloud environment. What we can do is we can take snapshots of the volumes and use those as ways to recover the disk or to snapshot a disk before something major is going to happen, like a big patch that you're going to install so you can roll back to that particular volume snapshot. So this is what that allows you to do from a data perspective. So you can see that I do have a volume snap snapshot that I've created from the root disk of Windows 2019 test. So let me select that. I've, the only option I've got available to me in this particular imp screen is to delete the snapshot. I'm not going to delete the snapshot at the moment, but if you went and followed through, you'd delete the snapshot of that particular disk. And you'd see the name associated with it. So in this particular case, it would be root 113 um, that corresponds to that particular uh, instance name. So that's been a quick walkthrough of the storage system inside of US Signals Open Cloud. Relatively simple. But as you can see, you can kind of get yourself in trouble with either over provisioning or deleting the varying degrees of volumes or volume snapshots, depending upon what your 
contract may, may have in it for utilizations purposes. So keep that in mind when you're creating and adding new data disks. So with that, if you have any, if you need any more information related to Open Cloud here at US Signal, feel free to check out the US Signal website and follow along with the documentation for Open Cloud, and you can get a, a rough walkthrough of all the bits and uh, bits and features of Open Cloud. With that. I hope you follow along with the rest of our series and get uh, more information about the US Signals Open Cloud environment. Thank you.